welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look this video will be about how to manifest for beginners even if you have manifested before maybe you can take some tips uh, from this video so just stay tuned now i've been i feel like i've been actively manifesting maybe uh, let's see if i had to put a time frame on it Ugh, that's tough i don't know y'all i really don't know consciously maybe a good five years but i'm sure it's been longer i'm sure i probably just been manifesting all my life because everything that i've had is like it was always something that i've once dreamed of having <laughs> i was thought of having like and then it came into my reality so when you manifest i mean you pretty much just like you're like grabbing control over your life but you're not forcing things so i would say the first step to manifesting is to let go of the idea of who you are and step into who you want to become step into who you want to be so the first step to manifesting is you have to become detached you cannot be attached to anything you cannot be attached to any outcome you also have to wholeheartedly believe like there's there can be no doubt like when you have an ounce of doubt it's probably going to work a little shaky but when you wholeheartedly believe that something is going to happen it will likely happen for you it will likely happen for you. Like, but first thing, you have to figure out what it is that you even want in the first place. So figure out what it is that you want. Next, believe that you can have it with not a doubt in your mind. Like, believe that you can have it. Start to visualize yourself in it. Start to visualize yourself having it. Like, start to actually feel those feelings. Like, close your eyes and feel those feelings as if it was already there. Imagine the scenario, imagine the situation. Put yourself in in place of your visualization. Like, put yourself there. Feel it. Believe it. Like, know that it's yours. Touch it. Give thanks. Show gratitude. Show gratitude. It hasn't happened yet, but show gratitude that it has happened. Show gratitude like it has happened already. Say thank you for, for having it. And you don't even have it yet. But just knowing that you're going to get it. Give thanks early. I give thanks early. Write it down. That's another one of my favorites, um, which I actually haven't been doing too much of lately. <laughs> um, I think for me, I've just more so been a visualizer, just really thinking about it, just really putting out intentions. Um, but writing it down is a really good one. And when you write it down and give thanks, the same way as if it has already happened. Thank you for my new uh, car that's, you know, has heated seats or whatever it is that you want. Like you can, the funny thing about manifestation, you can manifest anything. Now, will you get everything that you set out to manifest? No, I don't think not one person gets every single thing that they set out to manifest. Cause otherwise I'm sure they didn't ask for a million or a billion dollars by now. <laughs> But you might get a million billion dollars worth of experiences. You might get that and never had to physically spend your own million or billion dollars. Like when you manifest, things start to you start to attract things to you. You start to become who it is that you want to become. You start to receive the things that it is that you want to receive, not knowing how that you're gonna receive it. So let go of control. That's a part of manifesting. You have to let go of control. You have to let go of the outcome, what the outcome will be, and you have to let go of control. Trust in divine timing. Like, you may want something now. It may not be the time. You may want something. God may got something better for you. Something different. Something that's going to do more for you. You just never know. So don't be attached to anything when it comes to your manifestations. Let go of control and trust trust that it will happen for you um speak it speak it into existence don't tell too many people but tell somebody who's close to you so tell somebody who you can trust 
or just talk to yourself like it's okay to talk to yourself look yourself in the mirror and you know speak it into existence uh, show gratitude like speak it as if it's already yours speak about it like it's already yours because you got it speak about it like you got it in the palm of your hands and a, a really important um step and i'll put this i would i would say they're in no order and you don't have to do everything every single time it's really all of your vibrations you really so what you really do is attract things to you you really have to put yourself in alignment with the things so you also want to move move of this as if it's already yours like if that's what you want wake up every day and move like it's yours how would you be moving if you had that how would you be moving if you had that like let's say like one thing um my family and i used to always do is go to open houses let's say you really want a bossy house you don't got the money right now for the bossy house but you know one day you're gonna have the bossy house go to the open houses go show up go talk to people go get in the faces of the people who got the money the faces in the people of the people who got the investment properties the faces of the people who selling the properties like go get into those nice houses go drive those nice cars go get to feel what it feels like to have it like get that exposure because one thing for sure, I realized like it's hard to even know what you want without having exposure. Like sometimes you you're very we're, we're very limited to our circumstances. We're very limited. So the more exposure you put out there, the more you even know what's going on, like the more you, exposure you get, like we don't even know half of the stuff that be going on in the world. We don't even know that a lot of stuff is possible. So how you gonna even know what you want if you don't even know what's out there? So <laughs> my last um, step, but like I said, it's no, it's in no. These steps are in no particular order, and you don't have to do every one every time. But this is very important. I think you should do this every single time. Release it. Release it. Release the wind. Release the why, release the how, release the what, like total detachment. Okay, you ask for it. Okay, you know you're going to get it. Okay, it's yours already. But this don't mean focus on it all day, every day. This don't mean sit around and wait for it. This means to get up and act like it's yours. But you have to release it release the need to control oh it should be here by friday oh i should have it by now oh it's been a month where is it like no nah, it may take two years it just may like before i moved out to georgia i was going to move two years prior it didn't work out it didn't work out i let it go i stayed in cleveland longer and georgia came on around and it looked when I finally went to Georgia, it looked much better than I could have ever imagined. I didn't even imagine my life looking like that. I did so much, I learned so much, I grew so much. I had an even better house. Like I was gonna get an apartment, got a house. Like you just never know what's in store, what's in place, what things has to move in order for you to be able to get what you get. You may see things moving and think that they're moving in the wrong direction or that something isn't working out, but you don't understand that stuff uh, the universe be doing behind closed doors for you. You don't understand. The process don't always look smooth. The journey ain't always peaches and cream. It's gonna be a bumpy road. Sometimes it is, but when you manifest them, you have to, you got to release that. You got to let that go. You got to release it. Because if you focus too much on it, it's like, oh, I don't have it. But if you know that you already got it, know that you got it. Know that it's yours. And it's nothing that can stop it from being yours unless it's not meant to be. Unless it's not meant to be. It's either going to happen in divine timing or it's just not meant to be. And you have to be accepting of that part as well.
So I hope that this video helps somebody with manifesting. Um, if you have any more tips, um, I, there's a ton of more. Like this is just like, um, let's say introductory, uh, a beginner's guide. But if you have any more tips on manifesting, let me know what those are in the comment section below. If this video resonated, if it hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually attuned, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.